Lindvar Carlsen is driving magnificently. Whether he's under team orders or not, nobody will know, but he's certainly driving with extreme skill. One minute and 15 seconds behind Carlsen is the laughing pair Eklund. He's really getting the hang of the Lancia now and enjoying every single minute. In fact, he's 50 seconds ahead of Mikhail Eriksson and Klaus Bilstam in the Marlborough Lancia. Eriksson's enjoying himself at last, but he still can't understand why he can't get ahead of veteran pair Eklund. Up to fifth place now is Kenneth Eriksson in the Toyota Celica GT4. Sebastian Lindholm and Penti Kukala in the Finnish Lancia Delta Integrale have seen Ericsson get ahead of them and they're now 22 seconds behind. Eric Johansson has got over his brake problems and he's 50 seconds behind Lindholm. He's got a 30 second lead now on Stieg Blomqvist who is still battling on gamely but finding the big heavy Audi Quattro quite a handful on the slippery roads. Still, the old Stig Blomqvist magic is there, although Asterhag has certainly got his sights set on him. He's only 15 seconds behind him. Bjorn Johansson still leading the two-wheel drive brigade and going in great style. Stig Olaf Wolfridsson and Gunnar Barth in the Audi 80, 11th overall and having a ball. Just 17 seconds behind is the amazing young Colin McRae. He says he's still learning to drive on snow, would you believe? In fact, McRae and Ringer are in a very healthy 12th overall position. Harkin Eriksson, he can't really match the speed of the other Opals, try as he might, but he's holding 13th. And Thomas Janssen in the Team VAG Sweden Audi Quattro, 14th. Early evening, day two, and the virtual halfway point on the 1700 km Swedish rally. And it's time for a leisurely service. Timo Salonen is having a great drive and has a healthy lead over his teammate Ingvar Karlsson. It poses the question, will team boss Akim Von Bull give any team instructions? Will he tell his two drivers to slow down? Timo is still driving to his limit and proving that on his day he's one of the fastest in the world, as he proved recently on the Champion of Champions race in Paris when he was second overall to Juha Kankunen. Everything seems highly organised and unhurried in the Mazda camp, and it's just a matter of topping up with petrol and routine checking by the small army of Mazda mechanics and the Michelin tyre men who are there to torque tyres. We can put the... We have good second-hand tyres. But good ones, but not, not put completely rubbish because it's very twisty road. We take new, new tyres. You want to keep your one? Yeah. Okay. Yes, except, except my hand. But what do you want to have? Oh, it's terrible. It, yesterday. Yes. States number 10. Oh. Don't interrupt. Don't. States number 10. I don't know. I, I hit some snow bank and the steering wheel makes something wrong. And, and now it's getting very worse, this. You didn't mention it last night. Didn't yeah, it was already last night, but not so bad. But now, it today, it's... Got, getting worse and worse. Is it affecting your handling of the car then? Yeah, I must slow down a little bit because it's not so safe to feel it because no power in, in this hand to, to keep steering wheel. You can manage out to the end of the rally all right, you think? Yeah, I will do uh, nice, not too fast this rest today. And there is doctor waiting in Karlstad. We will see what they can do. What is your lead at the moment, Timo? Two minutes, 10, 15 seconds, something like that. So you're not threatened, really? So you no, can take no. it a little bit easy, perhaps? Yes, yes, I I did already this evening and today. Apart from your hand, any other problems with no, the car? No, the car working very well, no, any problems. Very good. Well, I hope the hand's better tomorrow. Yeah, me too. Voito Cylinder is contemplating and obviously feels that Timo's hand could be a handicap, literally. Cool, calm, and collected Carlsons arrive, and as usual, have very little to say. In fact, their rally is going like clockwork. <laughs> 